I'm William Nozak, and my team just popped up a franchise for me to take a look at. All right, so I'm just randomly looking at Comfort Dental. What is my first thought? All right, let me just take a look here. First thought, uh, is it for children? This skewy font here. Um, none of this is scrapable for bots. That's an image, okay. Uh, bubble font, I'm never usually a, a fan of. I do like the tight color palette, two, three colors. I don't necessarily like mauve and, and light blue. Um, I'm, I'm a little thrown off by the by the Halloween font or whatever this this font is. I usually want my dental, my healthcare practitioners to feel a little bit, a uh, little bit more, you know, straight laced or serious. But if this is for kids, which I, why would I have Comfort Kids over here on the left? I'd have over here on the right. I'd have it over here on the left. Doesn't strike me as a kid dental place. All right. So if I'm looking at the homepage SEO. Uh, title, so position one right here, it says home, comfort dental, right? That's a miss. We certainly want that to say something about um, our dentist. Uh, comfort dental, that's fine. I understand you can have that position one if you've got really good branding. H1, dental ben benefits end in. Now that's the weirdest uh, H1 I've ever seen in my life. And then you've got H2 services fully capped. Where is that? Okay, that's right there with the lowercase here. New locations, find a dentist. I'd certainly probably like to start with find a dentist. Google likes websites that can bring multiple options for, for users across um, areas. So there's new locations, services, and I still don't know where that, that H1 is. Certainly it's in the guts of the page, dental benefits end in. Okay, that's really weird. Um, and then this is not scrapable, so we're losing all this ability for content for the bots. It's light, I get that. There's no text, honestly, there's eight words here. I'm always nervous when a franchise has franchising in the main nav. Certainly I feel more comfortable when it's in the footer nav, hey, become a franchise, right? Because this is a website for the end user, people that need a local dentist. So let me take a look at a location page. Let's look at Oklahoma City. Right away, I like it. I like the address, I like the hours, all the information I need if I land on this page. Hopefully this page is the page. Um, office is a little strange of the category to pass it through, but who am I to judge? Um, why do we have an email at comfortdental.biz? Okay, so that throws me off a little bit. Why wouldn't we have our emails at comfortdental.com, right? We've got the .com here. I don't necessarily like that. Services, phone number, all easy, make an access and a picture of the place. I can't, I can't complain. I do want to look at the guts of the SEO. H1, Comfort Dental North May. I'm assuming that's the city you're trusted in in Snow Oklahoma City. I don't have a problem with that. Yappy is the first H2, okay? The H2s are just off. You, you don't need your phone number, call, listed as H2s. Um, there's just a couple things that could be improved. Yeah, so where is Yappy? Again, something that's in the guts mixed up as an H2, okay? Um, very interesting design and look. Again, I'm not a big fan of bubble, um, and that's kind of a cool effect there. So I, okay, so I did see this was linked to a map and it looked like it was just the address. I was curious if they had linked to the actual location. They do, that makes me very happy. I don't know why the H2 would have this listed, Comfort Dental North May, your trusted dentist in Oklahoma City. That's just not the name of the company. Your GMBs need, need to be the same name as your company name. I'm assuming the company name here, which I wish was an H1 here, I'm guessing it's Comfort Dental North May. The GMB should also be Comfort Dental North May, right? Across the whole brand. What are you gonna let each location pick what they say? Okay, so I looked at a Google Lighthouse. These Lighthouse scores, they're not terrible. They could certainly be a little better. SEO from a Lighthouse score is like super simple to get 100 on. Accessibility can be a little tricky. I'm not mad with an 81. Just wanna make sure that this can be used by uh, people with visual impairments. When I look at the, the SEO from the website in general, um, it's it ranks for some terms that are pretty high, orthodontist, 169,000 on page four, but I love that, well, I would love if this was an orthodontist page. Of course, this isn't a branch page. So Ohio Braces, I don't know, is that the name of a city? What, what's going on there? Did they just kind of randomly get popped into the SERPs for uh, braces, Comfort Dental Braces, North Columbus? Uh, that's super strange to me. I don't know if that's a city name or what that even is. That's probably a keyword that we really don't belong in. But let's look, uh, high volume, great placement. 9,900 braces near me. Again, Colorado braces, Aurora, what, what is that? I'm confused. Here's 3,400, Comfort Dental. 
they actually have decent branding um, and the more locations I assume they get this is actually a good thing for this company I'm happy with that um, now let's try to find a non-branded term dentist Hamilton Ohio it looks like these locations do actually pop out for a non-branded query and it's their Yext locations. Uh, I'm happy that they have Yext directories. Of course, if they have low volume, if it's a low volume franchise, they have 30, 40, 50, 60 locations. They have to use Yext. Is is the proven um, directory management tool for those size franchises and, and down. So I like that they've got the UTM tagging on this. We can see some of the leads that are coming in and understand how our local, how our directories, how our organic, how our ads um, strategy and our social media strategy are all bringing in um, leads and where on that pipeline are these leads coming from. So I love that, that they've got this going on for them. Um, I certainly am happy with them popping. I, I like their strategy for their branches. If you pop up a, a branch, they're getting some things right. They're doing the X. They have a, a little bit of a strange nomenclature passing through office for the Oklahoma City, OK Oklahoma City. I certainly would much rather that say Comfort Dental North May or Comfort Dental Office North May or something in that slug that really is a little bit better. Like there's nothing in here that makes that helps this for a uh, win for a dental office. So good things there. That's a location page. Again, when I look at SiteLiner and I just look at the, the page strength, what pages on the website have the most internal links, why is your franchise page? Like this is a consumer website. You have to treat it that way. You certainly should be suspect when a franchise has their top page power linking to their franchise page. But yeah, we get it. That's the most important thing. I think it should be on the footer or you could have a Fran Dev website. It, find a dentist directory. I'm good with that. Gold plan, I'm good with that. I would also like my location pages, like these offices. Why does the office Kansas City Braces Overland Park, why do they get more authority or links than the other offices, right? That's my question. Why does that office get more internal links? They certainly should all be very similar. And certainly we want our internal linking strategy to link to those pages most because they're more successful, we sell more branches. I did do a rich snippet test, again, they're getting the X right. They're getting the local business schema markup right. They're getting the review snippet right. This, these guys aren't dumb. Um, it, that's what's crazy. That's what is so weird that they don't even have their metadata set up on the pages correctly. And even the H1s and H2s, and they do some things well. They do Yext directories. They are doing schema markup. The page is fast. I did pop a, um, a rich snippet test and see there's rich snippets. I did try to pop a mobile test and I couldn't even get it to go through. So I don't know what that was about. Um, they are getting these Yext directories, yellow pages. I look to see on the yellow pages where they're ranking. So they're not paying for an ad here, but they're ranking well, um, like position two or something like that on the YP. But I checked deals and YP and YP doesn't have any keywords. So I really wonder if that's even bringing any leads in or if it's just bringing backlinking authority, which I'm good with that. I was a little curious how they're handling their local SEO. Here it is right here. Um, good, I can see they're building 153 seems good it really depends upon how many reviews do the competitors have certainly 4.0 is a little concerning for a dental office like what happens when they hit 3.9 i think certainly you need to get that up that needs to be much higher i did compare to a dentist that we work here locally and they're sitting on four, 500 reviews at a 4.9 so yeah my concern right away was we need our reviews to be higher we definitely need to be higher than 4.0 and then we just have these one star sitting out here and no one has ever responded or even spent the time to even kind of respond to these. That makes me scared because when I scroll down here and look for one of these low ones with eight likes on a one star, you know, that's affecting people using us. So that's actually gonna affect our bottom line. So certainly we need someone responding to this positively. This is peer to peer, so this really matters. So this could actually hold our growth back and actually slow down some of our growth. And that, those reviews, they're good, but what do our competitors have? What are their review, you know, are they sitting at a 4.0? Are they sitting at a 3.9, where to 4? That would be good. But if they're sitting at four fives, four six, four seven, as people search for local, find us in the map, and our reviews are, our, our review is a four, and theirs is four five, four nine, we're losing out on opportunities. Um, so that's a three minute breakdown. I know I can never hit three minutes, but hopefully that gave you some insights on some of the things that we look at when we're looking at websites from a UI perspective, from an SEO perspective, from a local SEO perspective, among other things.